Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Adil Abid. Today I am going to solve the task 1 pre release material of uh, May June 2017. Task is in front of you, these are the de details. Uh, so I'm, I'll be using a high level language that is C. The first step in this task is to put check on this stay on these lines that um, the minimum number of senior citizens needed for the outing to go ahead is 10. There cannot be more than 36 senior citizens on the outing. This is uh, my code. I am developing this program using a C++ language and the compiler is the dev C uh, bloodshed. Uh, these are the library files. This is the main function. These are the variables that I'm going to that I'm going to use in this uh, program. Uh, this int is for integer, and the name of the variable is the number of citizen, senior citizen. The second one is the uh, number of people of type integer again. This is the keyword float, or you can say the real data type that I am using for uh, calculating the totaling uh, total cost at the cost is in, is provided in fraction as you can see 13.05 so I will be using the real data type or you can say the float data type in C++ there is no concept of real data type but of float data type float data type and the third one is the cost per person uh, as you can see in the task it is mentioned that you have to <coughs> calculate the cost cost per person and the total cost of the uh, of the outing uh, work out the total cost of the outing and the cost per person for the senior citizen only okay so as you can see i have put a statement on the console that enter number of senior citizen citizens interested in the, out, in the outing and um, this is the line that I use to take input from reading input from the user input or you can say the number of uh, senior citizen after taking uh, input from the senior after taking input from the user I'll put a check the if else statement or you can say the selection the decision making that the number of if the number of senior citizen is between uh, 10 and 36 will perform some action from here to here. I'll explain it that what is actually all these statements. So I'll come to the else part that if the value is not, if the number of citizen that has been taken from the user is not between 10 and 36, so I'll so you the compiler will move to the else part of the um, selection statement that is the minimum number of senior citizens needed to go. To or oh, whatever so I'll compile it and run this code the inter number of senior citizen interested in outing as you assume, as you know that the number of um, the number of senior citizen the minimum number of senior citizen needed for the outing to go out is 10 according to the uh, problem statement over here the minimum number of senior citizens to go ahead is 36. So I'll put uh, there cannot be uh, more than um, 36 senior citizen. I'll put check on this statement over here. Now I have already run this program. If let's say if the number of senior citizen is 2, so it should reject uh, and should display a message to the user that yes the minimum number of senior citizens needed to yes whatever less than 10 and in between they cannot be more than 36 same if the value exceeds uh, 36 let's say 37 then again should display a message that the number minimum number of senior citizens cannot be less than 10 or uh, for outing number of senior citizens cannot be uh, more than 36 so I have successfully handled this condition now as you can see that the 
minimum number of carrots on go on the outing is two. Outing is two now. I'll put I'll you I'll be using a variable to handle the situation that of uh, a variable name of um, number of carrots of type integer and the by default as you can see if the value is normal by normal I mean if it is not less than 24 as you can see uh, over here with an additional carrot needed if Uh, if more than 24 citizens go go to the outing so I'll put a condition if the number of citizen is greater than 24 then I'll find the actual quantity of the people or you can say the number of people that will that would be calculated by using by adding the number of senior citizen plus number of care number of care is by default over here 2 as it is mentioned in the problem statement that the, a minimum of 2 carriers go on the uh, go on the outing ok but if it is if the senior citizen ex is exceeding the figure of 24 I will put an additional carrier over here like uh, this is the additional carrier if, it, if the condition is true definitely this statement will, exe will be executed over here this statement will be executed if the range of if it if is from here to here and this statement will be executed if the condition is true if the number of senior citizen citizen is exceeding uh, then 24 exceeding then 24 then the number of senior citizen plus the carer the additional will be, will be uh, will be added to get the number of people Remember that the number of people is different from the number of citizen. Number of citizen is the uh, actual uh, number of people that is going on the outing. But with additional with addition of the number of care, I am using the terminology or you can say the variable that is number of people. If the number of people number of people is when we are adding the number of senior uh, citizen with number of care. Simple as that. And in else part, if the condition is not true, if this part of selection is not true, the compiler will go to the, this statement. To this statement, and this statement is the number of if it will be true, it will be this condition will be false if the number of senior citizen is not more than 24 or not greater than 24. So then the number of people will be calculated by adding the number of senior citizen with number of carrier. The number of carrier is by default 2 and will be incremented if the weight number of citizens is more uh, if the number of citizens are more than 24 okay after uh, calculating the number of people this was the code for finding the number of people the quantity actual total okay over here now in the table it is mentioned that if the number is between 12 to 16 this is the cost of the coach meal ticket there are actually three different categories uh, for uh, and accordingly they have mentioned some details of the meal coach and theater I will be holding this now uh, to calculate uh, the cost the total cost and the cost per person now if the number is greater than or equal to 12 and a number of people is less than or equal to 16 as mentioned over here inclusive 12 to 16 inclusive then the total cost is equal to 150 150 is the uh, cost of the coach and the cost of um, plus number of people the point to be noted this is very important the number of people as I have said earlier that the number of people is different from the number of senior citizen the number of senior citizen the number of senior citizen is the actual input that you are taking from the user but when you are adding number of care to this number of senior citizen then you will get the number of people and you are will you will be multiplying the price of uh, meal with this number of people because you can see that carrier 
do not have to pay anything for the outing outing so the number of citizen is number of citizen that are supposed to pay on behalf of the carriers okay so the number of people the number of people multiplied by with this is the um, cost of 14 is the cost of what cost of meal and same as the plus number of uh, people will be multiplied with uh, 21 21 is the cost of theater ticket so the addition of uh, theater ticket uh, after multiplying with people same with this statement and this is the cost of a meal and this is the cost of the coach so after adding all these uh, three terms we will get the total cost now, now after taking the total cost I'll be dividing it by the number of senior citizen rather than number of people cause the senior citizens are senior citizens are paying on behalf of the number of people actually number of people is the amount in which is the number of people is the quantity of the number uh, of people included including uh, these uh, number of care okay the cost per person is equal to total cost divided by number of senior citizen so we will get the cost per person all right so total cost divided by senior uh, number of senior citizen same as i have used the if, else if statements so okay okay because uh, the number of senior citizen would be an, uh, a figure that would be between uh, 12 to 16 or i am saying or it could be between 17 to 20, 17 to 26 and 27 to 13 and so i have that's why i have used if else concept so because one condition would be true and uh, the, the that um, that number of senior citizen could be between uh, these two values and one could be true and uh, one could be true and the half of those numbers we are calculating price so that's why i've taken the if else concept and if one condition is true it will just check that statement if this condition is true it won't check this one and this one if this condition is true if the range of people number of people is between 17 and 26 only these statement will be executed and that that is the demand of the previous material same as with the number of people greater than uh, 21 and number of people less than equal to 39 i am putting the end condition it means if this bit is on it will work on even uh, only if this condition is if this condition is true that is bit is on and this is the end logical end operator that the logical multiplication if, if this bit is on the number of people so one and one the and of 1 and 1 is 1 so the condition the uh, bit is on so this st these statements will be executed now at the end of the state after handling all these um, uh, cases over here I'll put the total cost of the outing that is total cost is equal to to total cost of the outing is the total cost this is the variable that I that I am using in these statements uh, and this uh, and this is just uh, for the sake of uh, presentation the dollar sign and the cost per person this is uh, the syntax of c++ to end the line and the cost person per person is over here the cost person i'm using it over here over here and over here depending upon the number of people okay i'll run it after all these statements i'll be running this program now let's say if the number is to, if the number of senior citizen is two so it should say that uh, it is not within range uh, it will produce some errors if it is exceeding the uh, amount, amount uh, the number of senior citizen if let's say if it is 100 that uh, again it is exceeding because as it, it has been mentioned that if the value of the number of outing you know, the number of senior citizen needed to uh, to go outing is between 10 and 36 now if i write a number between 10 to 36 let's say uh, 32 so it will it should give me the uh, cost the total cost and the cost per person so yeah total cost of the outing is 13 uh, 45 dollars 
and the cost per person is 42.0312 so that's why I, I was using the float or you can say the real data type for this variable cost per person I hope um, you got my point this is the basic logic to solve the uh, task one you can use any other high level language uh, that is um, more understandable for you I am practicing with C++ so I, I came, with, came up with solution I will be posting the task 2 uh, I'll, so put your comments over here uh, I'll be, I will catch you as soon as possible thank you very much for your time